I see a lot of guys on TikTok. Hey, I'll DM you for a supply. I've got like pharmaceutical grade quality. It's not just about the treatment. It's not about the treatment. It's about doing it safely. It's about what if something goes wrong? What if the guy is giving you veterinary testosterone? So testosterone for humans is 200 milligrams per ml. If you're getting it at 250, you know that's a vet dose that, that the supplier is getting it from uh, for the animals and you're taking animal testosterone, ichapoise. There are all these other uh, hormones that are available that are anabolic that are for animals. They're not for human consumption. So these are, this is A, illegal and B, uh, you don't know if they're giving you anything clean. So I will follow labs every six months. Uh, I like to check blood count, uh, testosterone, prolactin, and estradiol, and I do free and total estradiol and testosterone. Um, I also check PSA uh, at least once a year, prostate-specific antigen, uh, to look for prostate cancer in men. Uh, I will also check uh, liver and progesterone and thyroid disease can be affected depending on what we have you on. And I think you always need to make sure that you're monitored by a physician, uh, self-medicating uh, uh, and, and doing it through back alley testosterone clinics, and even the low-T clinics, I don't like them. I'd rather a physician was taking care of you or a healthcare provider or PA or something that's dedicated to doing this is not just part of a T clinic that that person is a revolving door of people as they come through. So I think that urologists should be in charge of this personally. Why? Let's say that you're a primary care doctor or you're in one of these low T clinics and the guy's PSA climbs to six. What are you going to do? Stop T and run and hope that that guy doesn't sue you that you didn't a, weren't able to biopsy him. I have a, a better barometer for prostate cancer because I'm a urologist. I'm looking at prostate and PSA values all the time and I have the ability to diagnose and treat prostate cancer. So I think that low testosterone should be managed by urologists.